And now a correction to a story we ran last week. Prince Charles is actually the one in the middle. <laughs> so we... In the wake of the verdict, angry Menendez defense attorney Leslie Abramson said the jury simply chose not to believe the brother's excuse that they had been sexually abused by their father and says she knows why. Quote, it's because my clients are black. <laughs> And the Pope came out with a book this week, which contains a series of essays examining faith and morality in today's secular world and the changing role of the Catholic Church as it approaches the 21st century. The book is entitled, God Himself Told Me That O.J. Is Guilty. In an interview in this month's Vanity Fair, actor Tom Cruise attempts to end once and for all rumors that he is gay. In an interview this week, Bob Dole said he is strong enough to handle the pain of losing the presidential election. Although he did admit that the shock of winning would give him a giant heart attack. <laughs> a study on weight loss revealed this week that women who participate in a weekly diet program lost 50% more weight, snacked less, and bought more fruits and vegetables than women in general. Which just goes to prove my new theory, Richard Simmons is gay. <laughs> According to an obscure 14th century law, British Army Captain James Hewitt could be hanged for having an affair with Princess Diana. The punishment for having sex with Princess Diana is death. The punishment for having sex with Princess Anne is having sex with Princess Anne. <laughs> Demi Moore is wrapped filming on G.I. Jane, in which she plays a Navy, Navy SEAL combat officer. Moore says that in contrast to other Hollywood portrayals of women in the military, her character will have giant breasts. <laughs> and finally, John Wayne Bobbitt is going to be an adult film star. He has been signed to play himself in the John Wayne Bobbitt story. The part of his severed penis will be portrayed by Polly Shore. <laughs> F. Lee Bailey said this week that if, if the defense only knew what Ron Goldman's last words were, they might be able to find the real killer. You know, if you ask me, Goldman's last words were probably, uh, hey, you're O.J. Simpson. <laughs> last week on Larry King Live, Marlon Brando made the shocking statement that Hollywood is, quote, run by Jews. In response, outraged Jewish organizations made it snow in New York in April. <laughs> 130 years after the Civil War, the state of Mississippi has finally voted to abolish slavery. Representatives say they would have liked to have done it sooner, but uh, they were delayed due to some awfully big cotton crops. They had to... That's a, a big cotton thing. All right. Four Pittsburgh children were found in a house strewn with garbage and human waste after they'd been abandoned by their parents for two weeks. The couple was charged with child endangerment, but to their credit, they did bring the children's a present. A T-shirt that reads, My parents left me for two weeks in a house full of human waste and all I got was this lousy T-shirt. Former First Lady Nancy Reagan reports that her husband has been relaxing at their ranch, riding horses and chopping wood. Sadly, eyewitnesses report that he was actually riding wood and chopping horses. <laughs> Finally, folks, next week, Jews everywhere will be celebrating the holiday of Yom Kippur, or as non-Jews refer to it, Wednesday. This week, President Clinton played golf with ex-presidents Gerald Ford and George Bush. Bush hit an old lady in the face with a golf ball, giving her a broken nose and ten stitches. But uh, don't be impressed, it took him five strokes to do it. So. And finally, in honor of the 50th anniversary of their first publication, Random House will be releasing special commemorative issues of many Dr. Seuss classics. The first to hit the bookshelves will be Green Eggs and Ham and O.J. is Guilty. 
This week, a court banned gays from marching in Boston's St. Patrick's Day Parade, but they will still allow them to be beaten up by drunken Irish guys. <laughs> Last night, the epic disaster film Twister opened to big box office and some controversy. The Reverend Jesse Jackson has called for a boycott of the movie, claiming that not enough black people in the film are killed by tornadoes. <laughs> Finally, in entertainment news, there are rumors that actor Don Johnson is dating 71-year-old San Francisco socialite Denise Hale. An observer who spotted the couple necking in a restaurant will have trouble getting an erection for the rest of his life. <laughs> Washington Power to some Mary Madeline and James Carville are expecting their first baby in July. No one knows if the baby will be a Democrat or a Republican, but doctors are sure of one thing. It will be weird looking. And it's been reported that Keanu Reeves is engaged to actress Amana, Amanda Decadina. Asked to comment, Keanu said, what? I thought I was gay. I, I'd always heard I was gay. I... Here I go. are safer drivers, men or women? Well, according to a new survey, 55% of adults feel that women are most responsible for minor fender benders, while 78% blame men for most fatal crashes. Please note that the percentages in these pie graphs do not add up to 100% because the math was done by a woman. So. For those of you hissing at that joke, it should be noted that that joke was written by a woman. So, now you don't know what the hell to do, do you? No, I'm just kidding. We don't hire women. Tell, this week, Disney released a new CD featuring a rapping Mickey Mouse. To avoid controversy, the CD will not include the controversial hit single, Cat Killer. Beginning in March, DC Comics will change Superman's traditional red and blue costume to a new form-fitting bodysuit. The problem with the old costume? Not gay enough. <laughs> what the hell's going on in the country? <laughs> That's not Superman. According to the EPA, it will cost an estimated $295 million to clean up toxic waste at the former Lockheed Martin military aircraft plant in California. The cause of the toxic waste? You guessed it, Frank Stallone. <laughs> A blind man felt Princess Diana's face last week and said she is the prettiest woman I've ever seen. He then picked up a toilet plunger and said, thank you for this royal scepter, I shall treasure it always. <laughs> This week, President Clinton made history when he nominated Madeleine Albright to be first female Secretary of State, responding to critics who say that she is not the best choice. The president insisted, quote, she looks a lot better after a couple of drinks. <laughs> Visitors to New York's Times Square this winter are in for a bit of a surprise. Crazy people will be shooting at them. O.J. Simpson's new fitness video was released this week, and hitting the shelves next week, Simpson's newest video, Dorf on Stocking. Fell to sleep to take the swamp and stage up on the air, mate. Water for me, for me, on my way. And they'll form the seats on all the markets for a fist or size. She has some song. Now, scare my gram, thumb scare Break the trend, but they cops and ammo not scare all. Now, great bras off. This, you know, wrong things. I salute and let the kill and tell. Yo, listen up. Let me tell you a tale About the voices of the unheard Beyond the veil In a world so divided Where the poor are denied Their rights and their dignity Swept aside 
The streets are alive with silent cries of the marginalized Living in lies, systems rigged, stacked against the weak But we rise up, our voices we speak Voices of the unheard, we shout it loud Injustice and oppression, we won't allow From the streets to the halls of power We demand change every minute, every hour It's a fight for the oppressed, the marginalized crew From the ghettos to the refugee queue No more silence, no more fear We march together, our message clear From racial divides to gender walls We break them down, watch them fall Equality ain't just a dream, it's a must in the struggle for justice and whom we trust. Voices of the unheard, we shout it loud. Injustice and oppression, we own the loud. From the streets to the halls of power, we demand change every minute, every hour, every hour. Politicians talk, but actions speak, promises broken. Leaving hearts to bleed with the change we seek The revolution seed in unity, solidarity We take the lead, no more divided We stand as one in the battle for justice Until it's won, so raise your voice Let it be heard in the chorus of change Let your words be stirred Voices of the unheard, we shout it loud Injustice and oppression, we won't allow From the streets to the halls of power We demand change every minute, every hour, every hour Voices of the unheard, we shout it loud Injustice and oppression, we won't allow From the streets to the halls of power We demand change every minute, every hour Does President Clinton have a bent penis? <laughs> well, according to a doctor who examined him last week, the president's genitals are, quote, completely 100% normal. It should be noted, however, that the doctor who examined him also has a bent penis. So. <laughs>